Well, it's about that time again, everyone. I hope you're ready. I know I'm not. Since I've been doing these videos, there's been one suggestion that I keep seeing. Play uncompromising mode. So I finally caved in, took a look at the mod page, and thought to myself, yeah, this doesn't look too hard. And then I played it. Suffice to say, it's a bit harder than I expected. Essentially, this mod aims to rework the game to be more difficult for so-called veterans. But that isn't all. It adds a ton of new content, too. Uncompromising mode asks the questions that nobody asked, such as, what if Don't Starve had tornadoes? What if everything could jump? Yet, yeah, yeah, I said everything. And finally, how can we create the gaming equivalent of CBT? Luckily, this mod delivers on all of these questions in the most painful way possible. Now that I've introduced you to the mod, it's time to go to its house to have dinner and meet its parents. As usual, all of the mods I used are in the description, and I hope you enjoy the video. I know I didn't. First things first, I picked my character. Alright, so we've got three new options to pick from here. We have Wixy, Winky, and Wathom. So really, female Walter, a rat. And something you'd probably pick if you're an edgy teenager. Kinda like a Weber main. I'm allowed to say that because I was a Weber main at some point, so... The Forgotten Parody, Apex Predator. He's just like me? Yeah. I'm gonna interject now and say that the character description for Watham is perhaps the most egregiously uninformative description I have ever seen. What this brief synopsis actually means is... But if you didn't catch all of that, don't worry, I'll explain as it goes on. Hello everybody. Bark? My gosh, he is just like me. On day one, I started doing the usual, collecting, and also getting acquainted with Watham. Quick, bark at the bird. Good boy. So, right off the bat, um, there's a bit of an issue. This guy's a meat eater. Oh, that guy's so eepy. Nom nom nom. Yeah, so one major point about Watham is that he can only eat meat. I guess Apex Predator kind of implies this, so I'll give it a pass this time. Nom nom nom. Exploitable runt tree species. You are an edgy teenager, aren't you? Wow. Ah, cool. A wardrobe. Open. Uh, sure. Okay. Hmm. I came up with this one myself. Uh, is there a puzzle here? I can't do puzzles. I'm too stupid. Ah. And I can see in the dark because, um, I don't know. On day two, I stumbled across my favorite companion. Ooh, Chester. Where would a hundred days be without you? Spontaneous regurgitation, multi-stomached, much evolution. I, I don't know, man. You're talking like two word phrases, but you use the biggest words possible. Ghost decoration. Is it still the Hollowed Nights event? It's December. I'm gonna put some clothes on, you slut. Then I found a lot of gold, which is really nice this early on. It's time to get down to business. Take that stupid shirt off. Also, it was time to show off Watham's combat skills. Alright, Watham. It's your time to shine, my boy. Chester, you're, you're distracting it. There we go. Chester, go away. Whoa! Oh yeah, not only does he attack like he's on crack, he also deals double damage, which is nice. Oh my gosh, he's on all fours. He is just like me. What a guy. Good boy. Here, have a have a bark for that one. That was not a bark, but thank you for screaming at me. <laughs> it seems that uh screaming gets rid of your adrenaline. So that's cool. We can we can scream a little bit, you know? If you ever feel the darkness building up inside of you, just give a little bit of a shout. Day three, I was on the hunt. Energy lacking. Dude, you have like four carrots you could eat if you weren't a dirty meat eater. Not that there's a problem with eating meat. Uh, the problem is that he only eats meat. He's basically Wigfred if she was going through a phase or something. I don't think Wigford pounces as far as I know. I don't know. I don't play her. 
found you. Did you? Ah, yep, here he is. Huh? So I'm not gonna mess with that. Listen, I've had my rounds in uncompromising mode. I don't feel like fighting a mini boss at this point. Yeah, I didn't want to mess with that horrid creature. Trust me, I'm not a coward. These things are actually pretty dangerous in uncompromising mode. I may have discovered that in a previous attempt that I don't feel like talking about. I'm gonna get you. That is crazy, dude. By the mean you are tight. Like brothers. Anyway, I went ahead and started getting an alchemy engine prototyped. Stop barking, dude. Control yourself. Ooh. But then I found something absolutely terrible. Huh. Yeah, that. Nah. No, no, no. The challenge? You can suck a nut. I ain't messing with that. That cool little skeleton guy gives the veteran's curse. It gives you access to a few items later, but it increases the damage you take and hunger rate by 20%, so I didn't really feel like enabling that. B reproduction uncertain. That's gross. Upping inappropriate. On day four, I came across the pig village, and they were very welcoming. Hello, cars. Ah, uh, yes. Right, I'm a monster. Please, I'm. I'm on a busy schedule here. You guys forced me to do this, okay? Ow. I didn't mean to press F. I'm sorry. Wow. Let's try not to go beast mode, alright? Let's let's not go beast mode just yet. Can't believe I'd ever say that. What does this world come to? He is a fast man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hello. Um... I didn't feel like trading with you anyway. On the bright side, we're packing meat, as usual. I'm just coming through, don't mind me. Ooh! Bob and weave, Chester. Chester, you are so bad at this. On day five, I found an entirely new biome. I don't know what this joint is called, but it's pretty neat. And I got to meet its residents. Boomberry plant. I, I get the joke. I get the joke here. Are these dangerous? Yes, they they are. Fruit bat. I get the joke. Excuse me? <sighs> really? Is that a bear trap? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's maybe leave. Chester, stop aggravating them. Snapdragon? Okay, maybe I don't want to be here. And then I found the desert right after. This was a great find, as I have a crippling tumbleweed addiction. Haha! There you are. Why are you- there's just so many creatures. I can do this. 2000 health, okay. That's- that's an issue. All right, it's time. Uh. Why can they do that? <laughs> I can't see anything because of these stupid trees. I did not mean to press that button. I don't have my armor on. By day six, I wasn't doing too hot. It's probably about time I explain a little mechanic that Watham has. Remember that line in his description that says, the faster he goes, the harder he falls? That essentially means the higher his adrenaline, the more damage he takes. At 50% adrenaline, he takes 50% more damage, and at 75 he starts taking double damage. And if he reaches 100% damage, he gets amped up, which you know, just makes him take a measly 5 times more damage. This hopefully shouldn't cause any issues though. Bro, don't go for the double hit. Ooh, you uh, you do damage, don't you? We'll we'll stay hungry. I think we'll stay hungry. Uh, I I see the the issue here. He's all tuckered out. Uh, Watham, I'm gonna need you to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. We got things to do. Just like rain. What do you want me to do about it, man? 
<sighs> I think it's about time to think about settling down. In this economy, I know that's difficult, but a base spot would probably be helpful. I spent the rest of the day looking for a base location because I'm a very indecisive person. So my number one priority right now is um, not dying. I'm not doing too good of a job. Ooh, uh, um, okay, we won't mess with that. Uh, since we're being edgy this playthrough, I guess we'll rock the fanged fire pit. For the base, I went with my usual layout that I stole from Jakey Osaurus. <laughs> Right. Uh, the health is applied over time. Yeah, that's, I can work with that. On day seven, I worked on the base a bit more. Can you guys, like, move your pond or something? Stop eating everything. But most importantly, I got a crock pot. This would make my life way easier, since I'd finally be able to use veggies and actually make some decent healing food. Uh, Watham, I, I don't think that fits on your head. Quick bark at the bird. Good boy. Oh yeah, and I've got the uh, Crock-Pot mod, because it was recommended by the developer. Now I don't have to make a Quizlet review over all the recipes in this game. Catch me doing flashcards over Snot Roast. A convenient plot device. Yeah, I know Watham did not say that. That's definitely just like Wilson's basic lines or something. Why is my alarm going- what? How did I set an alarm for 8.35pm? Oh! That's why I didn't wake up this morning. I set my alarm for PM. <laughs> Day 8, the hounds started causing a ruckus. Froggle Bunwitch. Oh wait, I'm goaded? I like the frogs, they can stay, actually. I'm glad that the frogs are here. Froggy style. Chester, can you come help me, like, till the garden or something? If you're part of this family, you're gonna have to do some manual labor. Ugh. Just one hound? Okay. Accept magic. Embrace. Grant strength. Okay, Watham, can you stop reciting your mantra to the plants? Oh my gosh! How many alarms did I set for PM? Oh my- wait, I have to- I have to check this. Whoa, oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, that's why I almost came into work late this morning. I set three alarms in a row, but accidentally set them for PM. Huh. I am an idiot. Cool. I also got a rook jumped by bees because I needed gears for a fridge. Yeah, sting the robot to death. I, I don't care anymore. And I found another koalaphant. On day 8, I went absolutely beast mode on a koalaphant. It didn't stand a chance. You don't want to see me go beast mode. Ow. It's happening. Oh my gosh. The devil shivers when a nice guy loses his temper. Oh hey, the bees took care of the robot. Cool. There we go. Guess that sort of helps with the food problem. After that, I made a ham bat and packed up some snacks from the gas station because I was going on a little road trip. I'm not gonna lie, uncompromising mode seems to be uh, pretty compromising if you ask me. I don't want to call anything too early, but uh... I think this is going to be easy. With a guy like me at the wheel, nothing could really go wrong. I think it's time to kill spiders. I'm not being good on the whole self-preservation bit, am I? That's a lot of spiders. Oh gosh, I've gone beast mode. On day 10, I remember that koalaphant I left behind, and went back to teach it a lesson. Uh, this guy's not great with crowds. At least not, like, physically. He might handle them well socially. Judging by the way he talks, I would, I would guess not. I wouldn't say jumping into a group of enemies is the best for my health. Not gonna say it's the worst either, but pretty up there. I've got some words to say to you. They're not good ones. You're really pulling out all the stops, aren't you? Dude, give me just, like, a chance. For some reason, this koalaphant was absolutely cracked out. The dude was acting like he was my arch nemesis. Sheesh. 
I hope none of the bosses are as hard as fighting a koala -fant. Okay. Zirconia ball. Another hand touches the beacon. Good thing I keep finding these things. I, uh... It, it's entirely possible I may die multiple times. I, I'm just saying, I call these videos I played 100 days, not I survived 100 days. And I'm, uh, very careful to name them that way. Day 11, I caused a small forest fire because I felt like it. <laughs> My crops are thriving. Irrigation is the future. Then with the charcoal I obtained, I started on my drying rack addiction. Corn. It's my favorite band. That's a lie. Do not quote me on that. Ooh. Uh... What? Excuse you? Oh. Moon tier. Oh, it's making me wet. I, I, no, drop that. I really thought that my base had been placed in a meteor biome, and I almost broke down crying. Day 12, it was beefalo time. Thank goodness we have wide grass now. Come with me. I can be trusted. Don't worry. I pulled my best William Afton impression, and lured one of the beefalo away from the pack so that I could murder it, which gave me a beefalo horn. Why are you just here? No one asked you to be here. No one even invited you. Then I had something I needed to speak about. You know, I think I do need to kind of talk about this. I've gotten a few comments, and this is kind of a touchy subject. But I just want to start off by saying I'm sorry. It, it does seem that I am a very monotone and boring person. And honestly, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. As you know, my, my goal here is to entertain you. That's what this is all about. You know, I really need you guys to hold me up to that standard, okay? So I think I'm gonna try and be a, a bit more entertaining for you. I hope you'll forgive me. Ooh, there we go, there we go. All right, gotta get another one. All right, that's that, that's two, that's two. Got a third, yes, okay, let's get out of here. Let's go, all right, all right, got it. Oh yeah, I'll go for another one. <laughs> oh yeah, man. All right, that's uh, that's f 15. All right, yeah, we're we're doing good. Oh, oh, that, oh, gosh, that scared me. Oh, <laughs> man, this game is freaking crazy. You really never know what's gonna jump out at you. It's oh man. Oh, I love this guy. I love him so much. What a ooh, I I just err. Uh, <laughs> Day 13, I found the swamp, which was really convenient because I needed reeds for a birdcage before winter. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, that oh that was close, dude. Man, it's like a freaking minefield out here. There's tentacles everywhere. This is not good. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. You know what? I, no, 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 no. no. Oh, ooh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, that was a close one. Hey guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, I just want you to smash that like button right now. You know what? It, it just really, it really helps the channel. Also, you know what? It, since you're already here, you might as well subscribe, really. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's such a small gesture. It's such a small gesture. Just, just hit, just, just hit the subscribe button, you know? You know, like, and it's just not, not hitting the subscribe button is like seeing me bloody in the street and not even calling an ambulance. Do you want to be like that? You don't want to be like that. It's just, it goes a long way. Come on. Dude, what? Bro, nah, no, 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 I don't, no, <laughs> no, I don't trust that, there's no way, yeah, yo, <gasps> ooh, oh my gosh, there's balloons here, dude, what is up with that, I, I'm not going near that, man, I don't trust that at all, <laughs> no, oh my gosh, ain't no way, <gasps> oh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> Whoa, that guy's red! What? That, the goat's red. I've never seen that before. What? <gasps> what does that mean? Oh, he looks angry. Alpha Volt Goat? He kind of reminds me of myself. I think I think we're going to leave him be. He seems to really be protecting his territory. Whoa! <laughs> oh, gosh! What? Oh, a ton of pig heads here. Sweet! Bro, what is that? 
Is that a bird? It looks like a ball. Bro, that guy's looking at me. Look at how big his eye is. On day 14, I accidentally went into beast mode fighting a tall bird and proceeded to murder everything I could find. I was also reaching my limit of how long I could keep up this character. It was getting physically painful to do. Also, somehow even more painful to edit, by the way. Bro, that is... Oh, honestly. That is... That is so much... Like, that's a bigger beehive than I've seen before. That's such, like... It's bigger than, like, a normal beehive, you know? Like, that's, that's bigger than a beehive that I would usually see. Like, if you saw a beehive, that one is big, you know? If you're enjoying this video so far, why don't you, uh, punch that like button in the face? <gasps> a skirt? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, that's cute. Oh, they got the pig king hat? That looks sick! Oh my gosh. Wathom's got W Riz? No. No way. No way. She, 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 she. Only in Ohio, man. You know what? I honestly, like, my face hurts. My soul hurts. I don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm tired. I feel like I haven't slept in, like, three months now. How do you- how do people, like, physically pull that off? There's no way they're actually like that, right? Like, there's- human beings- They're just not like that, right? I refuse to believe that can be someone's, like, natural state of being. Anyway, I got a birdcage down, and now with my new beefalo hat, winter shouldn't be an issue. I- I think I'm done with the- the bit. I- that- I'm really tired now. I hope you were entertained. Please don't leave mean comments, I'll cry. That's not true. Feel, feel free to leave mean comments. I like them. I like replying to them. It's fun. On day 15, I was sitting pretty as far as food goes. I also had a normal amount of drying racks for a normal person. The harvest is bountiful, and we have a bird. Okay. Hello, welcome. Give me eggs. Oh, those, those eggs look a little hairy. Calcium haired. How? Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, uncompromising mode, it's its not compromising with me on food here. And you know what, Wathom, well, that skirt looks ridiculous on you. I decided that 9 drawing racks was probably good enough for now. On day 16, I was in a panic, because the Petrology Convention was right around the corner, and I was fresh out of rocks. So I went to the Mosaic Bomb to stock up and avoid embarrassment. I also tried to get as much cobble floors as possible for the base, and killed a Koalophant swag style. Day 17, I was still getting rocks, and I did my routine koala fit hunt. Ooh. On day 18, my jerky was done, and I had a little dispute with my neighbors. I also worked on laying some of the floor for my base. For this, I was rewarded with a hound wave. I think the dogs are coming. Dude, what do I do with all the meat? But that night, I was visited by something mysterious. Whispers conspiracy what? Excuse me? Ah! Yes, skeletons. Oh. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're chill. Whoops, I- dude, I meant to examine you, I'm so sorry. I feel really bad about that one. Y'all are fine. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you dancing outside of my house? Oh, don't let me stop you, I guess. I'll just be here. Day 19, I was still chilling at base and figuring out what to do with all of this food. It's a butterfly. Oh, I freed him! Am I so poor that I've been only operating with one crockpot this whole time? I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really embarrassing. I've got like an image to uphold here. Not a good one, but still, I'll take what I can get. At night I went to check out one of these sinkholes by my base, but I had another nighttime visit. Uh oh, are there gonna be more skeletons that come and dance at me? That's not a skeleton. Oh, you should die. Oh! Well, excuse me. Am I playing that one level of Super Mario Sunshine at the hotel 
with the big stingray on the ground. Goodbye. Ah, I can see in the dark. Ha <laughs> ha! The ability to see in the caves is really powerful. Surely, I'll actually do something in the caves at some point, right? Day 20 was just a day of killing time until winter got here. I got some cobble paths for the base, and went around smashing pig heads for football helmets. But now it was time. Who knows what threats winter would bring in uncompromising mode. Surely nothing difficult to deal with. Not for me, anyway. Day 21! Merry Christmas, everyone! Winter is here! And to be honest, we're practically drowning in beef jerky. I think we'll be fine on food. I got straight to making a thermal stone, and with a beefalo hat, the cold shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I think we're fine on food. I did need to start stockpiling wood, though. This would be a lot easier if I didn't get scared by bats from any tree I tried to chop. Dude, how many bats am I gonna get? Wadham, I cannot believe you're getting scared by bats. Look at yourself, you freak. Oh my gosh, dude. How common are the bats? Day 22, I had the masculine urge to make a presta hatitator, which meant I needed live rabbits for some reason. I also recycled my spoiled meat into eggs by force-feeding my bird steak. Oh yeah, and uh, more pigskin as usual. Okay, I really want to apologize to everyone, but I seem to need to do this at least once per video. At least we're checking it off early. I forgot to hit the record button for a few days. Luckily for you, nothing super interesting happened. For day 23, I did another koalphant hunt, but apparently I gave up and ran away like a coward because it was too much of a hassle. Additionally, one of my synapses fired, and I remember that I found a mac tusk camp in the new forest. I went and murdered them, but I didn't get anything useful. On day 24 though, I got myself into an unfortunate situation, because I ventured into the spider infested rock biome, but as I was leaving, a blizzard started, and I had to run circles around a campfire until it stopped, all the while dodging jumping spiders and dealing with shadow hands. Felt like I was playing FNAF 2. Oh yeah, winter has blizzards now by the way. On day 25, the blizzard was finally over, and I escaped the spider neighborhood. I also threw hands with the koala fin again, and on day 26 I killed it. Other than that, I sat at home and, I don't know, cried probably. On day 27 I was out catching rabbits for the Presta Hattitator, and I got attacked by some new and really cool hounds that you don't get to see, lol. And on day 28 I was recording again, thank goodness, because things were about to get interesting. I, I think I'm about to have a breakdown. I, I just want to apologize to everyone. I was not recording for like the past five days. I wasn't recording for so long. I don't know how to feel right now. I'm so sad. I, I had so many good jokes. I said so many funny things. No, don't add insult to injury, please. Okay. What's that noise? Oh, it's so cold my Geiger counter is going off. What is that noise, actually? What? Ah, right. That's the sound of my max health decreasing. Cool. I appreciate that. Put your hat on! Yes, you now lose your max health when you get too cold. So now winter is even worse. Fantastic. Anyway, I got the rest of the rabbits I needed, which was a bit more difficult since the daytime in winter is so short. But the pain wasn't over just yet, because then there was a blizzard. Does, does the game hate me? I want to see a status message that appears at the top of my screen that just says I hate you. Oh, look at you. Give a little twirl. Good boy. I'm gonna be honest with them. Uh, that skirt really doesn't match your eyes. At least I was able to make my Presta Hattitator, but before I could use it, I heard growling. Oh, that is Deerclops. On day 28? What? Honey, this is, this is bad timing. Okay, well, let me get away from here so baby mama Deerclops doesn't come up in my crib. Megafauna, let's dance. Wow, them do not try and act big and tough. You literally run on all fours. Uh, this is suddenly not a safe environment for me. Um, who's firing lasers? Oh, it's you that's firing lasers. Hey, sweetie. Um, I'm busy. Oh, 
I guess I won't build that campfire. On day 29, it was time to fight Deerclops, but there was a tree guard that was being really clingy. Why are you looking like that? I do not need to be getting double teamed like this. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Alright, dear Klops, I hope you're ready to have a couple's dispute. I had no idea how hard this fight would be, or if they had changed it, but my mom says I'm a big boy, so I absolutely went down on dear Klops. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, go beast mode. Do it. Oh my gosh, you are a beast. They uh, didn't change Deerclops too much, as far as I could tell anyway. One thing that is new though is the cursed antler it dropped. Uncompromising mode actually adds a few new boss drops to the game, but you can only use them if you have veterans mode activated, so I wasn't planning on doing that anytime soon. Oh, my Geiger counter's going off. Quit it. I know you are not cold. Get that filter off of my screen. Oh yeah, and I got a visit from the creepy crawlies again. But apparently they don't like fire. My two best pals in the whole wide world showed up. Thank you. Please leave. On day 30, I wanted to make an eyebrow for spring, but I had no bones to my name, except the bones inside of me. So, uh, I got bones. Bruh, ownership refused. Really? Deerclops is officially taken care of. Never been a big fan of women who growled at me anyway. Ah, well, mm, you know, it doesn't really matter. That's not the point I'm trying to make here. I mean, what I'm trying to say here is I'm freezing to death. Don't you live in a cave? Isn't your backstory that you lived in a cave? You've lived in a cave for years. You should be fine with this, dude. We have acquired bones. Can be hotter? Yeah, so can you, but you don't hear me saying anything. On day 31, I felt like slapping the Mac tusks around a bit because I don't like the way they look. Oh my gosh. You think you might need a few more bear traps in here? You can almost walk through it. You're just gonna- oh uh, yeah, you're gonna walk through your own bear traps, wow. Not a tusk to speak of. What did I even come here for? Did I do something to you? Besides, walk through your neighborhood? Sorry for entering your crib. Wow. The disrespect is insane. Merry Christmas, by the way. That night, I remembered that Glomer existed, and I yearned for his company. There was a Glomer-shaped hole in my heart. I miss him making questionable noises, gooping everywhere, randomly bashing himself into the ground at intervals. Elder, respect, protection promised. You know what, Watham? I, I think there's some things we can agree on. Maybe you're not so bad. Uh, then again, maybe you are. I don't know. Given your track record, it's it's not looking good for you, buddy. On day 32, I healed my health. All right, Watham. Ingest heroin. That's who you remind me of. Jesse Pinkman. You can't deny there's, there's a bit of a resemblance. You know what, things aren't looking too bad for us. They're looking bad, for sure, but like, not, not too bad. We are now in possession of the eyeball. Reduced heat protection. Ah, oh, don't, don't cuck me like that. Come on. Yeah, you keep doing that, Glomer. I wonder if I could become a VTuber. You think that's like a viable option? I guess it wouldn't be hard to make a face rig. Considering my profile doesn't have a face. At this point, I took a break because the mental anguish of not recording had me teetering on the edge of psychosis. So I took some time off to go stare at a wall for a while before coming back. On day 33, I tried to get some ice. Emphasis on tried. You guys, I, I just want the ice. Did you eat the ice? What? Then I went to the desert and destroyed every tumbleweed in sight because I have an intense hatred for old western movies. 
On day 34, some squids came to say hi. Oh, hey guys. Oh. Have an inkling, they'll come in handy. Yeah, that's a Wilson line. Wildem doesn't have the social skills to make a pun. I visited the tusks yet again. They probably really don't like me at this point. I did get a tam o shanter but no tusk. And no tusk was really disappointing, because that means no walking cane. On the bright side, Wildem doesn't really seem like a character that needs a walking cane. And then I got even more nighttime visitors. Oh, hello? Hi. Speak, please. Yeah. Announce yourself. Hi guys, uh, how's it going? Please leave me alone. Oh, sheesh. Okay, well, no, no, that, I didn't mean to do that. That's, that's unnecessary. Wait, you don't attack me? Oh, I have so many friends now. Oh gosh, my sanity. Okay. No. Y'all are toxic. I don't want to interact with you. I'm gonna block you on Instagram. I don't need this negativity in my life, please. On day 35, I did nothing of value, really. The usual. I wonder what Watham's Instagram would look like. I bet Watham loves Hot Topic. He seems like the type. Any of y'all ever been inside of a Spencer's? Don't go in there. Why is my bird coughing and dying? Hungry, miserable, known scene. Okay. Here, give me a hairy egg. Wide enough. Good enough for me. Watham seems like the kind of guy that would watch Tokyo Ghoul. I'm just saying, Watham definitely posts like side profiles on his Instagram story, and the background music is like My Chemical Romance or something. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with any of this, I'm just saying Watham seems like the type, you know? No! Don't do it to him! They don't deserve it. Actually. Poor guys. Whoa, it's spring now. I need a lightning rod. Glamour, you're gooping already? I'm proud. Yep, it's officially spring, which is really scary. Considering how ridiculous this season is regularly, I was a bit worried for my life. Zez, shut up, man. Z eyes. I still have not made a lightning rod. What am I trying to do? Kill myself? I can't even say that. Will YouTube let me say that? Wait. Oh, lorty! We are safe. I have a plan. Something just occurred to me. I think we're gonna invest in a new weapon. Fathom definitely has like that Tokyo Ghoul profile picture. You know the one I'm talking about? Everyone has it. It's trendy. Unfortunately, it looked like all of the meat that I stockpiled was starting to get stale, and my drying racks wouldn't see much use since it was raining all the time, so I would need to get some more food at some point. A much more urgent issue, however, is the hound wave that was about to descend upon me. Lightning hound? What? Hey, hey, hey! Let's cut that out. Boy! The attitude is insane. Okay, okay, I understand. Yeah, just keep smiting Chester. I don't even care. Okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving. Goodbye. On day 37, I was on the run after nearly getting clapped. These lightning hounds were a bit relentless. <laughs> Dude, I'm just trying to live here. Okay. Um, <laughs> Spring is going good. That could have gone slightly better. Youch. I forgot they can still bite. I really shouldn't be alive at this point, honestly. My self-preservation skills are a bit lackluster. I think some tooth traps might be a good idea. At least they give gold. Anyway, I went to the desert to have a chat with the goats. What is your issue? Dude, can you back off? What is your issue? I did nothing to you. On day 38, this merm was acting like I killed its family because I made the mistake of walking within a mile of it, so I had to take care of it. Okay. That was kind of your fault, man. Ah, oh, you're red. Hey, what's up? And so, I had an alpha face-off with this vault goat who thought he was cooking. 
He would probably drop a horn, right? He looks like the kind of guy. Uh oh, bird, watch out! Oh, sheesh. Follow me. I'm not gonna lie, he may have been cooking a little bit. Ah, I see. I see, I see. I'm really sorry, honestly. Aha! You've been neutered. Don't attack the bird. Oh, Lord, what are you doing to me? Attack the bird or something. Wow. Why? Why would you bait me like that? I really shouldn't continue doing this. However, uh, I did. Let's get out of here. Gosh. One hit and I am dead. Okay. The best place to be, really. Well, we now have access to that. We're living large. Zasp berry parfait. I don't even know what that means. That means nothing to me, actually. You're just talking nonsense. Let me just try something here. Holy crap, okay. Charge? Ow. Okay, yeah, I should have expected that to hurt me, I guess. On day 39, I was pretty ecstatic about my new morning star, and it was about to come in really handy. What are those noises? I don't like those noises. What are you? Introduce yourself, please. Walk up to the front of the class and tell us three things about yourself. I started chopping trees because I needed to make log suits. Switching between the eyebrow and football helmet all the time was kind of becoming an issue. But apparently the trees didn't like that because they grew eyeballs just so that they could look angry at me. They also attacked me, I guess. Hey, I hit you twice! Uncompromising mode be like, oh, you're trying to complete a menial task? I don't think so. In the middle of my dispute with the trees, though, I had another visitor pull up to my crib. Megafauna, let's dance? I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't like the implication. Who do you think you are? Coming up on my crib like this? And then you go to sleep, okay. Yeah, do get out with the birch nut tree, I don't even care. <laughs> oh, you're wet! Unfortunate for you! 144 damage? Oh my gosh. If I go beast mode, you're not gonna be ready for it. Obviously, I went to town on her. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, now I gotta get ready for her to do that. Unfortunately, I was still unaware that being pumped up made me take five times more damage, so I made the mistake of going beast mode. Hey now, let's not get crazy. This is like the definition of crazy, what do you think you're doing? Okay! Day 40, Moose Goose may have clobbered me, I won't lie. She unfortunately pushed me into shadow weather mode and I ran away because I didn't understand what was going on. And shortly after that... Oh. Uh, I found out what happens whenever your adrenaline runs out, okay. That would have been good to know. So apparently if you die while you're amped up, you actually turn into Shadow Watham, and your Adrenaline gets set to 100. After that, any damage you take is also taken from Adrenaline, but once that runs out, you literally have a heart attack. Once again, I didn't know any of this. Hey buddy, how's it going? I look so angry. Turn that frown upside down. Can't say the uh, corpse in the middle of my base exactly looks good, but oh well. Ah. No! Calm down, man. Give me a second, I'll be uh, up and at him again. Mother Goose is gonna rue the day. In my house. Ooh. Your pain shall know no bounds. On day 41, I wasn't going to stand for the disrespect, so I went back and put that putrid bird in its place. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Uh, I'm not letting you get near me if you do that. You need to grow up. Quit that. Put those back. Huh? Don't come around my house ever again. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to fight her children. I hate family disputes. Not that the family's having a dispute, I'm having a dispute with the family. I got yet another boss item from this fight that I can't use. 
On day 42, I won't lie, I cracked a few kids. I hear children. Ugh. Alright, hope everybody's ready to call CPS. Because I'm about to crack a few children. Oh, come on, don't you dare. Oh, you're mad because I killed your mother? You didn't even know. Luckily, the kids weren't really any different as far as I could tell. Why don't you strike me with lightning, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Learn your lesson. Don't try to make me pay child support. See you guys, on compromising mode, really is not that hard. Just gotta get in the mindset. I really need to keep my mouth shut, because every time I say something like this, something terrible happens. RATS! Oh no, I know you're not. You trying to take my hoe? What is wrong with you? Also, for reasons unbeknownst to me, the game wouldn't let me charge my Morningstar. Don't know what was going on with that, honestly. On day 43, something both amazing and horrible happened. Oh? Oh, this is... This is bad, actually, I think. Quick, charge my thing. Oh, that didn't work at all. B, you have better priorities. That is a tornado. Can I take a look at it? This is a bad idea! My hat! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Please, give it back. You can't run from me. Oh, you are doing it really well though. This is a very fun mod, although losing my eyebrow was gonna suck really badly. To be fair, I kinda deserve that for walking straight up to a tornado. What are you? Don't steal my soul, please. Oh, it's it's kind of cold out here, though. Dude, come on, man. We're tight, right? It's over. I'm not doing too well mentally, though. It ain't easy being crazy. Okay. <sighs> my hat. <laughs> my hat. On day 44, the game didn't think I had enough, so it gave me another hand wave to deal with. Can we try being civil for once? Uh, okay. Okay. Things are going well. By which I mean I think I'm about to have a breakdown. Not in the cool way either. Like, mentally. Although, I would much prefer busting it down, currently. I had had it up to here with the hounds, just trust me, I'm holding my hand really high, so I decided to actually be smart and make as many tooth traps as possible, and place them a good distance from my base. It's coming along. On day 45, I was chilling at the base, at least as much as I could chill given the circumstances. I was chilling to a degree. On the bright side, plants grow really fast in spring, so that was helping with food anyway. Oh, those were some happy potatoes. Dude. Snow cone? With meat in it? Long pig? Human flesh? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, well, I'm off, Chester. Don't have a party without me. You know I get insecure. And Glomer, don't let anyone take your goop, I know the frog's giving you looks. On day 46 I went exploring again, because there were still a few parts of the map I hadn't touched. There could be something really good out there, who knows. I also started freezing to death from being wet, and then I went crazy from being wet. On day 47, I did end up fighting some useful stuff, mainly more clockworks. Oh, hey, mating season. Wish I could say the same. Oh my gosh, whoa, there's so many. This is crazy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think that trap might have worked uh, if the chest had not been wet in the first place. <laughs> also just wasted two healing salves, don't worry about it. 
I was now in possession of the terrarium, which was great because I love content. Oh yeah, and the gunpowder would be used later too. Totally normal tree. Do I trust that? Why is it still Halloween? Why, why is Christmas and Halloween overlapping? Okay, whatever. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. I'll come back later. Clearly I'm not wanted around here. I'm used to it though, it's not that big of a deal. Wadham can make a sad post on his Instagram story, I don't really care. Ah, oh, mandrakes! Man, this is a uh, important area that I never found. How many totally normal trees are there around here? And also set pieces? Sheesh. Curious, feelings of love. But two. Well, you're at that age, Wadham. Right on the brink of puberty, probably. Err. Oh. Day 48 was relatively uneventful, as long as you don't count the tornado. Anyway, I wanted to find a red gem so that I could get a shadow manipulator up and going. All I had to do was desecrate a few graves. No, don't bark at the grave. That's disrespectful, dude. <coughs> okay, let's get out of here. No! What in the world? My bet's on you, tall bird. So proud of you. Anyway. Uh, veteran mode is looking tasty. I'm licking my chops. It's frog rain. That's no good. Actually, that's fantastic. Using my massive intellect, I pitted the frogs and bees against each other, like pawns in one big game. I was also fighting shadow creatures this whole time because, due to reasons outside of my control, I was very wet. And shadow creatures are a bit more ruthless in this mod. On day 49, the shadow government was after me, but I fought them off. <laughs> I'm sane. And apparently the storm followed me because I was once again being struck by lightning. <laughs> Swell. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, what? Huh? Were you disguised as a piece of grass? Did you decrease my sanity? Why is this one guy going off so hard? If you can't tell, I was doing fantastic. At least I got my shadow manipulator up. Got my swag back. Oh, that repaired my top hat. Good way to uh, repair your top hat for free. Just build a Presta Hatitator and destroy it. That was a joke, by the way. Okay, um... On day 50, I was checking out this new doohickey when something in the magic crafting tab caught my eye. When socketed with a moon tier, mutates offered items under the light of the full moon. I have a moon tier. I can do this. Also, can I... I, I need to heal myself. Alright, so what about a moon dial? We'll put that right, right here, I don't know. Sure. I have no idea what that accomplished, but hey, my harvest was bountiful. I also put that moon tier in the moon pool, which would apparently allow it to mutate items or something, I don't know. Do I mutate the corn? No. Guess it's not a full moon, but still. And then I discovered the wonders of sleeping. Apparently it also restores maximum health to a degree, which is a lot easier than doing drugs. Well, then I think you're getting it a little bit too comfortable in that skirt at this point. I think maybe we should have a talk about this. I might need to confiscate that. I about had a conniption when I was trying to finish the floor at base because I realized I placed my floor wrong. I'm sure everyone's been screaming and sobbing at their screen the whole time. I'm sorry, everybody. On day 51, it was a full moon night and my moon pool was acting really frisky. I also got to test out my hand wave death trap. Not gonna lie, it uh worked really well. And I immediately got to work on expanding it. Other than that, I was just chilling at home again. I do that a lot, apparently. And I mean, I'm pretty good at chilling, so it would be kind of a waste if I did something productive. We're just gonna start giving it everything. I don't even care anymore. You want a carrot? Oh! Uh, hmm. 
All right. You're kind of ugly up close. I, I wouldn't put it past Wathen to have been the one saying that, actually. Okay, well, there's another moon tier. Monster meat. Rot. You're being so mean to me right now. After figuring out what it does, the uh, moon pool doesn't seem to be too useful. Could I turn a berry bush into a stone fruit bush, perhaps? I don't think it's going to work anymore now. Yeah, no longer a full moon. Oh, that, that didn't work anyway. Eh, well. There you go. Look depressed in the corner. On day 52, a tornado started up while I was at my house, so I fled like a coward. Not my house! Okay. It's fine, I guess. Not really. I'll just leave, I know, and I'm not wanted. I did get some useful stuff in the process, at least. One good thing about tornadoes is that it rains logs the whole time, so I would probably never have to chop trees again. There's a lot of dead mosquitoes. Ow. Ugh, I, I see the reason. Think tank. I made a boat for my lure plants, because if you didn't know, you can actually place lure plants on boats, and they won't be able to grow their eye plants anymore, so you can just get free leafy meat. On day 53, I was working up a sweat working the fields like an honest man, and as it turns out, my morning star somehow fixed itself. Can I, uh, charge this now? Oh my gosh. It's functional again. So, you can't charge it while it's on zero? How does that work? Whatever, you know what? I'm not, not gonna question it. I, it's working now and I'm happy, okay? I don't really know why I could charge it now, but whatever. I'm probably just being dumb, honestly. Well, you know, since we're here, we might as well. What skin are we rocking today? I, I like the lamb's blade, yeah. Big ol' weapons. Watch me ride that horse, sir. Thanks for the protein. Let's go gym, buddy. Ah, I see the uh, tornado is taking up residence over here. It's fine. I need logs anyway. Not like I'm getting any wetter. You are horrible. Oh, that's a tornado. Hey, how's it going? What you doing over there? Hats off to you. Speaking of which, you still need to give me my hat back. You never returned to that. Could I... Could I get a comment on that, maybe? My hat is somewhere in this world, feeling lonely. Day 54 was more of the same, really. Dodging lightning and fighting shadows. Honestly, this is about the typical spring in Oklahoma anyway, so I can't really say I'm not used to this. Anyway, I found another hunt, but this one wasn't a koalaphant. This trail looks dangerous. Nah, uh, no. Well, my, my koalaphant, they killed him. I'm not going to stand for that. Guys, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, another dark sword for me? Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, well, so let's just, let's recoup a bit before we fight that thing. On day 55, I had an intense battle with the Varg. You want to tussle with the muscle? And by muscle, I mean, not me. I'm not stupid. Let the bees take care of them. Work smarter, not harder. He looks like he's doing fine. There we go. Why haven't I been using this the whole time? Yeesh. I can actually see what's going on now. Message in a bottle. Hmm. Okay. I think the tornado pulled that out of the ocean for me. Thanks. After that fiasco, I started preparing for summer because I had completely forgotten about it. Okay, cool. Nothing wrong went bad for me completely forgetting summer is the next day, but hey, we're doing fine. Surely summer can't be too bad, right? Day 56. It was now summer, and I wasn't wasting any time. It was antlion prep time. Once again, I didn't know if this was going to be much different, but after the moose goose situation, I didn't feel like taking any chances. Oh, I need to take care of that line quickly. Oh gosh, I need to go fishing. Oh, there's a lot of things I need to do. Probably go ahead and make these. I can already make these? Oh, also works as protection against snowstorms. Ah, whoops. 
Ah, uh, yep, I'm using an umbrella. That is so embarrassing. Okay. On day 57, I was loading up on Niter and still prepping for Antlion. Be patient, these things take time, okay? Why do you have to keep being those? And what are you doing at my crib? Out here playing checkers. Inventory management is looking fantastic. I know that's what you watched me for. What are the chances I could fight Antlion right now and win? Uncompromising mode definitely did something to her, right? Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. On day 58, I was fighting the urge. Uh, for the sake of content, this is... It's so tempting. It's so tempting. And I was just about ready to fight Antlion. Just bear with me. Uh, that's probably good enough if I'm being honest. I'm, a, I'm good at games. Stop it. It's just a water balloon, man. Chill. Get my pockets a little wet, and we're off. On my way, I found something amazing. Oh! Welcome back. There are a lot of squids around here. Slapping around. On day 59, it was time to go down on Antlion. Yeah, I ain't getting hot at all. Summer who? I, I haven't seen what's special in Summer yet. I don't know if they're gonna like send like a ray of sun down to smite me after I say that. Oh? Looking mighty yellow around here. And as I arrived at the desert... Oh, and the game crashed. Yeah, you're gonna notice pretty soon that uncompromising mode isn't super stable. Summer specifically seems to be very prone to crashing. The crash did roll me back a bit, but I got back to it. Dislike rain? Don't know why you'd say that, it's not raining, but thanks for letting me know. I hope this isn't the yellow sky of crashing. Wow, my summer insulation is so good it made my temperature go down. That's the real challenge of summer, you can't go to the desert because it crashes your game. That would be funny, actually. Pinecone for good luck. Oh, well, here's the oasis. How am I managing to stay cold? Did I break the game? My thermal stones are getting colder. Uh, not that big of a deal, I guess. What do you think about her? Expecting something? Expecting these nuts? I hope you're ready, Atlan. You're about to meet your maker. Or I am. Either way, it's gonna be interesting. I have a treat for you. By the way, I was under the impression that water balloons can make enemies wet. Uh, this only applies to the player and, oddly enough, Dragonfly. So, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Anyway... You're just gonna have to handle this the only way you can. By <laughs> launching yourself across the arena, apparently? Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, then you are going insane. Carrying your umbrella in your teeth? That's not how it works, dude. That does in fact defeat the purpose of having an umbrella. That fight was very easy. Probably because it wasn't changed at all. On day 60, I decided to celebrate my victory by fishing, I guess. It's just gonna give me a trinket, I bet. Just give me a trinket. I already know you're gonna give me a trinket. Marbles. Stop being a redditor. Don't correct the game, okay? Dude thinks he's meta because he can see the name, apparently. How does he know they're called marbles by the game? Don't break the fourth wall, please. After that, I said hi to the desert merm that hates me, and made my way back home. I'm, like, very confused on my stance on Watham. On one hand, he can decimate a boss, but on the other hand, I wouldn't trust him to fight a crowd of bees. Because any group situation and he just launches himself into the horde. Found you. You whippersnapper, what do you think you're doing out here? Guys, seriously, why did you not equip the sword? Or the helmet, for that matter. No, you don't. We've achieved meat. On day 61, I was treated to even more new hounds. Here they come. What are you, Magma Hound? You don't say. 
Well, anyway. Are you uh, immune to traps? Doesn't look like it. Lol. Who thinks now is a good time to go to the caves? That sounds like a good idea. Caves sound fun. Luckily, those guys weren't near as bad as the ice or lightning ones, surprisingly. Unfortunately, my cave dreams were about to be put on hold because there is about to be a huge issue. We are about to be cooking so hard. We're gonna be cooking in ways you didn't know were even possible. Cooking in illegal methods that I didn't know you could do. Uncompromising mode is nothing. What was that? Hey, um, what does that noise mean? If that's Dragonfly, I'm gonna start crapping everywhere. It sounds like her. It wouldn't be her, though. Right? But that would be ridiculous. Um. Oh. Wilting Dragonfly? Oh, okay. Thank goodness, it's just neutered Dragonfly. Right? Please tell me you're neutered. Don't follow me home, please. Sounds like she's got asthma. Don't think she's too happy about me running away. No? Are we running by the, um, don't starve AI? Where you just follow me around menacingly? Because if that's the case, then I don't want to be here. Can't breathe? Stop smogging up the joint! I've got a flingo anyway. Doesn't really matter what you do over there. Okay, she is not happy with my house not being able to burn, I don't think. Um, I hate to do this, but can you stop doing that? Okay. Well, there goes all of my health. On day 62, I was in a pretty bad position. Dragonfly was lighting everything on fire and completely covering my base with smog in the process, which as you can probably see, was killing me very quickly. I ended up having to flee underground to not die, and also to get some red mushrooms. How are you overheating down here? I imagine Dragonfly is probably still at my base, just living it up. Glomer is dead, and she is over there yakking again. On day 63, I desperately tried to fix the issue. I got my max health back, but I really needed something to help deal with that smog. Uh, protects against smog when worn. Fantastic. Well, I need more mushrooms. I'll be back in a second, I guess. You see, this is kind of why it was a bad idea in the first game. But I digress. Yeah, don't mind me, Dragonfly. I'll just be over here. Doing stuff, you know. Now everything was going good and dandy, but then, uh... My game crashed, so I had to do all of that again. Cool, the game is now saved, in the event of that happening again. Which is apparently very likely. My drawing racks, really? I was a bit slow on the uptake there. Well, better than nothing. This is my house, dude. I wasn't super happy with Dragonfly, to say the least. She had killed Glomer, one of my only friends, and now... I was out for revenge. By the way, I was looking at Glomer's trivia section on the wiki, and I thought this part was funny, considering Glomer has eight legs. But anyway, that's not important. What is important is that I was about to get destroyed. Alright. You wanna fight? We will fight. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Anyway. Sleepy. Uh, I don't know how that lit me on fire, but thank you. I won't lie, I really would have liked a walking cane right about now. Just keep on healing, buddy. Okay. Day 64. It wasn't exactly going well. I should once again state that I had no idea that I was taking multiplied damage. Anytime I took a lot of damage, I just came to the conclusion that it was because of the mod making enemies really strong. In fact, because of the multiplier, I was basically taking the amount of damage that you would normally take without armor, while wearing armor. 
Luckily, I figured it out pretty soon. Just give me a second. The real question is, can I eat a mandrake? Unable? I thought so. Okay. Wasted a mandrake. Very cool. Also, a dragonfly nuked my lure plants, so uh, that kind of sucked. On day 65, it was time to clutch or kick. I swore I was going to scrounge up a win. I made a marble suit, took a nap, and I was ready to get back at her. All right, surely I have to win, right? Like, there's no way I don't win, of course. Unless she regenerated her health, in which case I'm not going to win, but she's wilting. She's wilting. Oh my gosh. You have double damage on blow darts? Okay, the preparation was overkill. Um, slobber lobber. Oh, sorry. Stop picking it up! I mean, do pick it up, but don't equip it. I'm sure if I knew what I was doing wrong in that fight, I could have remedied it, but I didn't know what I was doing wrong, so. Don't matter to me. We are officially safe, everybody. Safe from harm. Somewhat. On day 66, I had to remake my drying racks that Dragonfly so rudely set on fire. But I didn't have enough grass, as per usual. Oh, Glomer. I miss you. Ascend to the heavens. Uh, I'm gonna go to the desert. I gotta farm tumbleweeds to get my stupid drying racks back. At least I have enough charcoal. On day 67, my tumbleweed bloodlust was relatively sated. Oh hey, by the way, I thought I'd do my usual checkup and make sure you're not eating while watching this video. You know how much I hate that. Makes me feel like the court jester and you're just a king eating a drumstick. Stop doing that. And then I reinstated my drying racks. At this point, my plans to go underground were kind of thrown out the window. Also, as I discovered while hiding in the caves, you can overheat underground now. That kind of killed the dream. On day 68, more of my meat had dried and I didn't really know what to do with myself. Also, this may be controversial, but I took a look at the wiki to try and understand how Watham actually works and I wasn't too happy about it. Okay, so I've got some words to say. Oh, hot! Whoever uh, wrote the synopsis for Watham, I'm not irritated, I'm not mad, I'm just, I'm just disappointed, really. They could have done a little better of a job, in my opinion. Cause, holy crap, there is like an entire light novel's worth of information about this character. And through my enlightenment, a lot of things are starting to make sense and become clear to me now. I'm sure I've been narrating about this the whole time. I say that as if I, I've already narrated. I, I'm gonna narrate over this in the future. But from your point of view, it, it won't be like that. Knowing what I know now, I, I'm gonna start playing a little bit differently. Ooh. You can't stand the heat, stay out of the garden. So true. Helps against smog, really. Can track a tornado's location. Man, I really should have been looking at all of this. Whoopsies. He keeps saying he dislikes the rain. I don't know why. He says it like every five seconds. Now let's see. Hurts you a little, hurts them a lot. Hmm. I'm not a masochist. I just want to see what my body can handle. I never even use these. I don't know why I made them. On day 69, I got another hound visit, which is honestly a cakewalk compared to the other seasons, so it wasn't a big deal. And of course, I used their teeth to expand my death trap. On day 70, I stayed around base and tried to just keep getting food. You'll also be happy to know that I finally placed the missing floor tile in my base. But now, autumn was right around the corner. On day 71, it was autumn again, which meant I could sort of relax. That's what I thought anyway. I didn't waste any time and got straight to killing the local wildlife. I suspect I'm gonna see a barrager sometime soon, given this mod's track record. Oh my gosh, if I knew I could do that. Yeah, see, that's what I should have been doing. You see, whenever Watham barks, not only does it lower his adrenaline, it also sends nearby creatures into a panic, which also makes them take even more damage. Ugh, Schmeet. He, he has nothing to say about the fish jerky. What are you? 
Sickly frog. Or like dead. Well, just get the moss meat out of here. I'm not poor. Okay, how do I make snot roast? Takes onions? What do you think I am, rich? Look at this stupid. Yeah, I don't like you. Here, have a seed. I'm feeling kind today. Oh, hey, it's that time of the month again. Karat. Lol. On day 72, I may have been on a power trip with my newfound knowledge, because I went around screaming at everything I could. Well, that trivializes that. If I can hit you, that'd be nice. You guys are still here? Is this your house? Wow, that works? Wow. By the way, if you haven't noticed, the frogs seem to be a bit poisonous. You're gonna see a bit of a theme here in autumn. Day 73, I can't believe it, but I went out exploring again. Kind of embarrassing that I haven't explored the entire world by this point, but I've kind of been busy trying not to die. Not that I'm really doing a good job at that either. Chest? What? Hello? I wonder if this is a fire trap. This is empty. Okay. What am I looking at? Okay. I don't understand how that could have possibly happened. That's interesting. Not really sure what happened there. I guess a tall bird egg hatched, but as soon as it grew up or I entered the render range, they just started duking it out. Very strange. On day 74, I was walking around and wasting time. You know, being a generally useless human being. I also cruelly subjected a coelphant to death by tentacles. Huh? Hey buddy, I'm not trying to do anything bad to you. Directly, anyway. Lol. Cool. Now I just have to grab that stuff. Ah, you guys are so mean. Okay, yeah, it would have just been better if I had not done that, but hey, uh, it's the thought that counts. Whatever that means in this context. I needed some more excitement in my life, and I remember that I had a silly little terrarium in my possession, so I got a silly idea. Well, I'm bored. Bring out the eyeball. Never mind, we have gnomes. Lol. What? You're funny. Dang it. Strangely, I would actually say this fight is easier than vanilla. Because if the eyes don't hit you, the minions don't even do anything. And with Watham's cracked damage, I was able to get it mostly dead in the little time that I had. On day 75, I realized I have way too much food. Like, I had a lot of food. I guess Berger overheard this because his rotund self appeared before me not long after. <laughs> That's a nice noise. I think that means good things for me. And I'm going to avoid my house at all costs now. Also, I'm busy, so... I won't lie, I absolutely embarrassed the Eye of Terror. Get him! Okay, I'm ready. On day 76, it was high time to give that Berger fellow a piece of my mind. Surely, he wouldn't be that bad. Oh, Berger, where art thou? I hear him stomping. Actually, I see him stomping more than anything else, honestly. Hey, man. Why them? You were literally wearing a skirt. Shut up. Look at me, I'm Scottish. He's a cute guy. I'd feel kind of bad to fight him. 
Alright, let's go, man. I'm sorry about this. Okay, I no longer feel sorry about this. As it turns out, he was a little nutty. How? You're fighting me, dude. Pay attention. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. I've got to go do something real quick. Oh, look. It's silly. Okay, bye. Don't appear under me. You're such a douchebag. Berger's sanity aura was a little bit on the crazy side, and the last thing I wanted to do was deal with sanity creatures during the fight, so I called a timeout for a little bit of rest and relaxation. I am so sane, it's not even funny. And yet here you are. But then I got back to it. Maybe some movement speed would be nice. Okay, give me a second, I need to feed my hat again. Unfortunately, I got all pumped up, and I know this may be controversial, but I didn't really feel like taking five times as much damage, so I disengaged. On day 77, I was back in Ballsy. He may have stolen my lunch money, but this time, I sent Berger to the nurse's office. Okay. Okay, really? Oh, Lort. Yeah, I really, I got kind of jumped into him and I got a face full of rock. With that victory, I'd beaten every seasonal boss and then some. I felt relatively good about myself. But with all these boss items, the urge to activate veteran mode was really getting to me. Oh yeah, and I was introduced to another hound variant. Now I've met the entire family. I see Autumn's new thing seems to be poison. I made a lesser life amulet because I thought it would be useful in the event of, I don't know, a heart attack. It's basically like a life alert from those old commercials with the old people. And then I had yet another nighttime spooky session. It's just hearts. Oh, those are spiders. Nervous tick. Ah. Oh, he's in my inventory. Kill it! On day 78, I made a questionable decision. I'm gonna go do something that's been called unwise. Ow. I also sat AFK for a really long time. I don't know what I was doing, honestly. But then... You're about to be afflicted with a crippling curse. Your body will treat you more harshly. However, fortune favors the bold or foolish. Touch the skull again to seal your fate. I like touching skulls. That was loud. What if I do it again? You made your choice, now you must live with the consequences. Okay. Well, I did make my choice, but however... Wow. That may or may not have been a horrible idea. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Day 79, it was time to test out a few of these boss items. Oh? Okay. I think I can already kind of assume what this does. Cool. Ow, that hurts me. And then... Feather? What do you mean, feather? Well, that definitely did something, I'm sure. Just wasting my feathers here. I lost my Koalfa hunt because I'm so distracted. Alright! That does something. Lol. We've achieved something here. We've achieved a higher hunger rate, that's for sure. And we now take more damage. That's nice. Ah, I see. Infinite use, okay. I think I was feeling a little cocky at this point, because now seems like a good time to fight another boss. It can't be that hard, right? 
And on day 80, I didn't waste any time with the whole boss ordeal because I have terrible impulse control. I was very underprepared, and honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. Probably nothing, as usual. Anyway, it was time to fight this, um, spider thingy. Hooded Widow? That sounds right. Okay. We're gonna see if this is a really bad idea pretty quickly, so... Oh, well, what would happen if I attacked this? Ah, well that was quick, wasn't it? That doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, let's not go crazy now. Ah, I see. Lol. What? <laughs> I don't know if this is intended or not, but you do seem to go flying when you get webbed. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Also, if you can't tell from watching, I wasn't playing too well. Oh, you do a lot of damage, don't you? Uh, my idea was bad anyway. Yeah, that went slightly poorly. At least I was able to gauge how hard the boss is, which is to say, surprisingly not that hard. Don't let my poor gameplay and general lack of skill fool you. Why is there such a small... Why is it so tiny? I wanted to um, unequip that, but I guess that works too. On day 81, I cleaned up my accident. That was a kick in the pants and a waste of time, honestly. Okay, maybe having that activate with the same button as you would regularly unequip anything else is not a good idea. Of course, I could just be being judgmental, but um, I don't think I am. But now I started preparing, and this time, my plan was foolproof. The mod developer, whenever they were coming up with ideas for enemies in this game, they were just like, ah, oh, I have a good idea. What if they jumped? Bonus points if there's AoE. If brute strength isn't enough to do it, then that just means you're not using enough brute strength. On day 82, I was enacting my plan. You may be asking, Ashton, what is this plan you speak of? Firstly, this is a video. I can't hear you. Secondly, how do you know my name? But to answer your question, that's none of your beeswax. You're going to observe my methods and you're going to be impressed. I will say, my plan does include a lot of marble and not a lot of skill, and I was out here farming enough marble to make the Washington Monument. By day 33, I had gotten a healthy serving of marble and decided to call it quits. Cry about it. Loser. So far, the increased hunger drain from veteran mode hadn't really been a problem. So far, anyway. On day 84, the pig king casually watched me murder his entire village and roll a guard, and I started evicting pigs because I needed their skin. The pigs don't really need their houses at this point, and honestly, what good are they doing? They've actually been pretty rude, all things considered. As rude as trying to kill someone goes. I hate your stupid totems. This place belongs to me now. It's a Watham world. Get with the times or leave. To be fair, they shouldn't be building their houses with skin to begin with. That's kind of disgusting. Uh-oh, no idea. I'm not m venison. I don't think that's how you spell that, but okay. They probably did that on purpose. They can't misspell it that badly. By day 80, I was basically ready. If I lose with this much armor, I'm just not even gonna finish making this video. After getting all of my stuff in order and killing a couple of cats, I headed over and psyched myself up. I think this is gonna go well. I can't see it not going well. And then on day 86, it was time. Let's try to do this in a smart manner first. I'm just learning her pattern. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Unless she does that. I think I see the issue. You just need to stay really close to her, maybe? It's 
It's okay, you can keep coming. Oh, I didn't mean to get angry, I'm sorry. Let's not get hit. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're doing this now. Are we? Okay. Huh. <laughs> Observe my methods. We'll just, uh... There we go. No issue. I am a little crazy, though. Yeah, that didn't go near as bad as the first time. I did end up using my last resort life amulet, but other than that, it worked out pretty well. Probably wouldn't have had to use it if I had realized that the boss's attack pattern had changed, but whatever. Okay. I didn't really know what either of the boss items did, though. Day 87, hounds. And I'm sorry everyone, but I used the wiki once again to see what this claw does. Please forgive me. I'll be giving myself 39 lashes later, don't worry. Okay, guys, don't be mad at me. I did look this up just because I have no idea what I'm supposed to use this for. I know some people are a bit iffy when it comes to people using wikis. I don't know why. I would never figure this out otherwise. Someone would have just told me in the comments after the video anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Time for Overwatch Loot Crate unboxing. That had a pig in it. Oh! Oh gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, well, good stuff. Okay, so this just gives free boss loot. That's kind of insane. I'm not sure if I want the flim, if I'm being honest. On day 88, I was really feeling myself. Well, you know what, everyone? Supposedly, uncompromising mode is supposed to be hard, but I've kind of, I've kind of killed every boss that's come my way, so I mean, I didn't do them well, or skillfully, but I did technically win against them. I did die against one, but I did still win, so that's a technicality, I guess, I don't know. A foul? How are we keeping track of this? Looking back on everything that's happened for these 100 days, there's only one thought that comes to my mind. Thank goodness I don't have to go through spring again. I could make a hibernation vest. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't need- I'm just so rich. I think I'll do what I want. Are you jealous yet? Are you seething? You wish you had my winter hibernation vest skin. I wish my voice didn't crack. But what's important is we're all friends. Confidence surging. You should wear a fedora. You seem like the type. <laughs> ah, I see. Night vision. Or for me, just red vision. What? In my own crib? How did you even get here? Can't take tourists. I don't understand why you can do that while you're scared. Why can you use attacks while you're feared? I can't wait to read the comments on this video. There's gonna be like so many people just like, well, you know, if you're good at the game. I was very disappointed by this video. I thought you were someone who actually was skilled at a video game. I thought you were someone who takes pride in your work, but clearly this is not the case. You displayed neither skill nor the urge to grow as a person. Frankly, your video was painful to watch. So inefficient. I can't believe you didn't beat every boss in the game. 100 days isn't impressive, you know. I could survive indefinitely. Yeah, so could I, but there's kind of a max video length on YouTube, and I think Infinity exceeds that by a little bit. Implying I could even edit or create a video that's Infinity length. I don't know, give me a few days, I could probably do it. Day 89? I don't know, I really wasn't doing anything honestly besides rambling. I deserve this turkey dinner. Just saying. Can't deny I deserve the turkey dinner. I am a winner. Oh my gosh, my coffee's been sitting on my desk for like the past three hours. It's so cold. Let's go get a beefalo. Nothing else to do in my life. Become a farmer. Can't even joke about that, like half the kids I went to high school with are probably farmers now. Day 90, I really wanted a beefalo for some reason. I don't know, maybe I was seeking companionship. Or I was just bored. 
I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Uh, you're mine now. I shall call you Live Laugh Love. Oh, for short. You're so needy. Just met and you're already being clingy. Kill that. Assist me. You're so useless. We don't like those people. Don't interact with them. We don't like their kind. I'm just trying to live. Oh, you... I hate you. I didn't mean it. Oh my gosh, I fed you grass. Chill. Alright, whatever. I guess we're getting home one way or another. I guess I deserve that for, I don't know, making your feet cold after getting my face bitten off, but yeah, sure. Act like you're the victim, as usual. I don't even care anymore, eat it raw. That's a song by Infected Mushroom, by the way. On day 91, it was winter once again. I tried another time to get a tusk, and I brought Live Laugh Love with me. We're gonna get you a brush, boy. Girl, I don't know, I keep referring to you as different things. Um, Le Creature. I'll just call you, um, Livy. Once again, I only got a hat. I was really hurting on the inside. My base is such a mess, it makes me so sad to look at it. Hypothetically. Ah, I see. They're not very intelligent. On day 92, I was really determined about this beefalo thing. I don't know what was up with me. Where is all the manure coming from, by chance? Oh, it's you. Guess I need to get you a litter box, don't I? Anyway, I destroy the remaining pig house. Crazy how you think I care. And shave some beefalo to get what I needed for a saddle. On day 93, I was still chasing the beefalo dream. I got what I needed to gut went on possibly the longest hunt of my life, and then I made my saddle. I bestow upon you. Ow. Okay, bye. What did I do? Sheesh. Okay. Didn't realize you were in a mood. Yeah, my beefalo wasn't a huge fan of that. On day 94, my beefalo assaulted me again. Okay, if, if I give you this, are you gonna... Saddle? It seems to not trust me that much. I don't want to interact with you anymore. Goodbye. This was turning out to be a very toxic relationship. And once again, I failed to get a tusk. It didn't even matter anymore. Nothing matters anymore. Oh yeah, remember those hounds you didn't get to see earlier? Uh, just letting you know now, you're gonna get to see them. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. His mouth doesn't move when he eats, but he has like the cheeks from the eating animation. Look at that. Ugh, they couldn't have made, like, a closed mouth animation? On day 95, the hound incident occurred. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I don't think I have enough time to get to my trap. Let them fight the spiders. It ain't my problem. Oh, hey, by the way, there's the special ice hound. I did not know they did that. Guys, I need you to stop doing that. Guys, I really need you to stop doing that. Okay, um... There are the new Glacial Hounds, everyone. Gotta love those guys. Alright, let's see if I can get back to my stuff before I freeze to death. And then, I had the absolute closest call of my life. I'm alive for the time being. That's not looking good, though. Of course, the aphid is eating everything. Okay, well, that's nice. I asked for one singular twig. Please, craft it. Fire, please. Thank you. Okay. Right. 
And that's why we play uncompromising mode. On day 96, I uh, just spent the day getting my thoughts in order. It wasn't too difficult. I didn't really have a whole lot of thoughts to get in order. Oh yeah, and uh, I was out of food and hungry. I hate to do this to you, but um, yeah. I eventually got my stuff back, but unfortunately they ate my jerky. <sighs> We're doing great. Day 97, I was still just trying to get some food, man. I was really hanging on by a thread at this point. I see we like snow around here. I'm slowly recovering. There's no jokes to be had anymore. I just feel empty. The hounds took everything from me. Why is it always an active war zone when I come over here? Okay, whatever. I need to kill you. Unfortunately, my hunt got interrupted and I had to wait the night out. On day 98, I put that nerd through the ground and finally started packing some meat. But I discovered something tragic upon returning home. Uh, how's it going over here? Is it going well? Okay. Why? Is it breeding season by chance? Uh, you know what? That's it. Follow me. Please follow me. You know, follow me, the song Phantom K. Uh, no, 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 no. You know, you don't get off scot free, Liv. You've been nothing but trouble. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Goodbye, Liv. You were a traitor. Today was a sad day, but. It had to be done. Alternatively, I could have just moved the bell that the beefalo was attracted to, but shut up, okay, I didn't think of that. Um. Okay. I'll just leave, honestly. On day 99, I killed that thing. Apparently nothing is safe in this mod. Chester, you're my only true friend in this world. This is an endurance test. That's all this is. How much can I mentally take? Then I went to town on the Killer Bee neighborhood next door to get some honey so that I could heal a bit. I wasn't wanting to take any chances. Now on to day 100, it was the last day. I was just getting ready for the end and reminiscing. That's a lie, I wasn't doing that at all. This was the most stressful 100 days of my life. Aside from my real life, anyway. One more day. This is... <sighs> Chester, I am so sad. I'm so depressed. I need therapy. <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? My house is in shambles. I've got nothing to my name. I won't lie. Uncompromising mode has been very hard. A little bit ridiculous at some times, but um, very well designed. Uh, clearly a lot of effort went into it. The style's great, the stuff they added is great, but man, it's a little wild. Sometimes. I won't say that it's difficult or too difficult, because I know that's the purpose of it. And if I did say I thought it was too difficult, I would have people probably in the comments telling me, well, you know, that's really the point, because whenever you've played this game for so many thousands of hours, you just look for a challenge, because it's just not there anymore. You know, you really need something new just to keep the game fun, right? Because it's just too easy. It's too easy for someone like me. And then I'll probably go cry in my room or something. I don't know. Please don't leave a comment like that. You'll be the reason I have to go to therapy. Anyway. No, I'm not stalling. Be quiet. Come on, Chester. Follow me. It's a cruel world out here, Chester. Otto on Chesterfield. Esquire. I need you to promise me something. That you'll do better than I did. I'm entrusting everything to you, Chester. Here. Take my hat. Something to remember me by. I'll miss you. Good enough for me. No one will ever find me again. Ah, rabbit. Go along.
Oh, come on, man. I just freed you. And there it is. 100 days of uncompromising mode. I can definitely see why this was recommended to me, but man, it's, uh, it's something. I've been doing some research, like post-recording, and this mod has a ton of content in it, so I apparently haven't even scratched the surface. This is definitely something I can see myself coming back to in a video, or maybe even just on my own, uh, but probably not as Watham. Sorry, I love him, but um, I'm, not, I'm not doing that again. Maybe if I were a better player, but the uh, pouncing and damage multipliers are a little hard to work with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Hopefully in a game that's maybe a bit more laid back. I need a break. Sheesh. Anyway, Merry Late Christmas and a Happy New Year.